Hey guys, Bug Out back here for another Survivor Quick Tip. Today's quick tip is going to be about uh, being found, specifically with the SOS pattern. Now, although we talk about bugging out and staying away, staying hidden, uh, one of the most common survival situations is actually going to be being lost or being stranded and needing to be found. Uh, one of the easiest techniques and one of the oldest techniques for alerting people is the SOS pattern. If you guys aren't familiar with that, that's the Morse code pattern. Um, I believe it was originally Save Our Ships, if we use it for Save Our Souls. But either way, it means I need help, please come rescue me. Uh, SOS is a pattern and it can be done a ton of different ways. It can be done visually, it can be done audibly. Uh, there are a ton of different ways you can lay out a pattern on the ground for planes. So we're going to look at a few different ways that you could do the SOS pattern to get saved. Alright, so let's say the scenario is that it's nighttime where it's getting dark enough where a flashlight is going to be easily seen. Hopefully in your everyday carry or if you're out hiking, camping, whatever, you have a flashlight with you. If you don't, I strongly suggest to keep one with you at all times because you just never know. Now, there are a bunch of flashlights and one of my main flashlights in my bug out bag actually has a setting on the flashlight that has an SOS pattern. For all intents and purposes, since that's not 100% common, I'm going to uh, show you how to do that with a flashlight. This one has multiple settings. It's got your bright, your brighter, it's got the strobe for disorientation, but it doesn't have the SOS pattern. And you can't just click through to do the SOS pattern. So one of the easiest ways to do that with a flashlight that, let's say if it only has one setting or not the setting you're looking for, is literally just putting your hand in front of it and doing the SOS pattern. If you guys are not familiar with the Morse code SO, uh, SOS pattern, it's just simply So with a flashlight, you could just do this. I know it seems silly, but if somebody off in the distance sees that pattern, for one, even if the person doesn't know what SOS is, that very distinct human pattern is going to catch eyes. So that's kind of why you do that SOS. So if somebody who knows Morse code or recognizes that pattern, they're going to see you. Even if they don't, they're going to say, that seems really weird. We need to go see what's going on. Now, same thing when we're talking about doing it with Audible. Uh, one of the easiest ways is if you still have the energy, you're up walking around, you're like, man, I really just, I, I need to get out of here. I need help. If you can clap, again, just audio, just... Something that simple, again, it's very human, it's a pattern, and it's going to catch people's attention. Another idea is to have with you um, some kind of a whistle, or you can of course get one of these things. I got this uh, actually from uh, Millennium Guy Gear, I believe it's called. I'll put up a link here. Uh, but it's a paracord bracelet, it's got a few different things in here, but it's got this little emergency whistle. Now, this is not, I've, I've used these whistles before, and they're not super loud, they're not awesome whistles. I keep a, a specific survival whistle on my backpack. But if this is all you have with you just while you're out and about, you of course can use this to kind of do the same thing. Now with this particular whistle, um, it's not going to be the easiest to try to do the SOS pattern because uh, these things actually do take a good bit of force to be able to get a, a high pitch. So trying to do that pattern might not work so well. So if you have something like this, I probably would suggest just doing it like a boat swing or something and just just to kind of get people's attention. That's your quick tip for the day, and thanks again, and please subscribe, like, and share, and as always, be prepared.